Hello, Howell family. This is Prince Kerr, the voice of HC. I hope you are all doing great. Before we get into this week's conversation, please hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It will be greatly appreciated. It helps the channel a lot. In today's conversation, I wanted to discuss what is a powerful mindset and what makes a mindset powerful or weak before our video this week. So let's talk about it. We often hear the buzzwords that mental coaches and motivational speakers throw around. It's all about your mindset. Your mindset will change everything. You are not succeeding because of your mindset. But no one is really clear about what a powerful mindset is. Our inquiries are usually met with general statements like, just be positive. Just get back up and try again. Just be consistent. But it often just seems like, how could you tell me to just be positive if you have no idea what I've been through? How could you really tell me to get back up and try again when you haven't lost what I've lost? You haven't felt the pain that I felt. How can you know that it would be something that you could do if you were to walk a mile in my shoes. But then we start to question ourselves. What are we really going through? Why is it that we are feeling and experiencing these troubles? Why does it seem like the world is only attacking us and sparing everyone else? And only when we start to ask ourselves these questions can we begin to really analyze who we are and how we truly react to the circumstances that we face in our lives. Now, if we have the courage to face our own trauma and truly explore these internal inquiries, we are soon revealed the elements of our personality that we may have not even truly realized that we have we will start to go through our entire lives mentally, or at least reanalyze the pivotal moments in our life experiences. Those moments that truly made us hurt, those moments that truly made us confused, we start to mentally question those moments that truly left us alone when we thought that there would be at least one person that understands by our side. Now this moment of introspection may be traumatizing in its own, but we then acknowledge that we have already made it this far. And as much as it hurts to revisit these moments and question everything that we've been going through, we also accept that no one can go through this internal journey with us because this path is truly our own. And then, inevitably, because we are searching, we start to find. We start to stumble upon the exact moments pain was introduced into our lives. We start to look at our actions and the actions of the people around us that caused us this pain and begin to analyze the supposed traumatic situations from a different perspective. Then we start to learn from those very moments. We start to learn and most importantly, we may even begin to forgive the people and situations involved in those moments that cause us pain. We then start to smile because we realize, whoa, I've been fixated on these moments and seeing them in one perspective, a negative perspective. Yet there are so many different ways that those very moments help me become exactly who I am. Now, after this short or long period of introspection, you begin to see things differently because now those very mental blocks that had so much power over you have now become stepping stones, helping you on your journey forward. And now where you once saw pain, you see possibility. Because if you could reimagine and repurpose one element of pain or confusion, Imagine what you can do with everything else that has been stopping you so far. Imagine how far you can take yourself now that you have opened your eyes to accept that 
everything that is meant to be must be. And what has happened in the past was for me to be strong enough to face my future. You can now challenge anything because you start to realize that you are destroying yourself with the very elements that were put in your life to help build you up. And you start to think less, why did this happen to me? And more, what did this come into my life to teach me? And now you are ready to challenge life. You are ready to succeed. Now you dare life to come at you because you trust your ability to adapt, to believe, to be consistent, and essentially to keep trying. All of the very traits necessary for success. Now you start to think, what sent you down this path of enlightenment? Was it the mindset coach? Was it the motivational videos that inspired you to continue to strive forward? You start to realize, no, it was you. You asked the question in the first place, which brought you to the motivational speaker or caused you to even search for that mindset video. Then that triggered that introspection. It was your questions. And you start to realize that the most powerful mindset for success is one that dares to challenge what is and is unafraid of what is to become because whatever will be is better than what that mind can now see. You start to see that the most powerful mindset for success is an inquisitive one. Well, at least that's what I think. What do you think? Let's have a conversation in the comment section. I'll see you on the next episode of Conversations on Howell Consultations, the how-to to being true to you.